Hi everyone, um, this is the poster, the digital poster that I created for um, Zoom Expectation as well as Google Meet. This tutorial is go, I'm going through step-by-step -step process on how I came up with those digital posters. So there are two extensions that you're definitely going to use is the, um, the Bitmoji extension as well as the, um, the color picker. I installed it from the Chrome Web Store. So once you go to the Chrome Web Store, you type in Bitmoji. It's this one right here. As you could see for me, I've already installed it. So I don't need to add it to my Chrome um, anymore. So there's the icon right here for Bitmoji. So we're going to go back to the Google Slides. So we're going to create a new Google Slide. So the first thing that I like to do, of course, is name the file. So let's call it expectations and I want to delete this. If I select all of this, click the delete button and I like to change the size as well. My page, I put it a 10 by 10. I like to just basically use a square poster. So here, so I've changed the size and now we're going to insert the different aspects of the poster into the slide the first thing that I'm going to add is the zoom logo because I want to make sure that my poster have the same color as the zoom logo so I'm gonna go ahead and ins insert this all I need is just the icon so let's just remove this so double click to crop it so we're gonna go ahead and crop because all I want is just the icon resize it and put it here and to add the title I use a call out which is this one right here okay so once I place it into the slide I can resize it whichever way you want I want to make sure that I have the same color on the logo so this is where the color pick up picker comes along so if I click on it, I take the color, as you could see here, I place it so it can automatically place the code for the color on the zoom icon. So I left click on it. Now I'm going to double click on my shape and I'm going to change the color. It's a custom. I'm going to control V. This is the code that uh, for the color that I took from the um, zoom icon, so the zoom logo. So click OK here, as you could see, the color matches the logo. And I want to remove the border, make it transparent. So here is my shape for the title. You can center it and we'll call it Zoom Expectation. Expectation, so double click on it if you want to change the font. Let's say we're going to use this one, double click. Um, I bold it and of course increase the size and then I want to center it. I don't like the black on top of the blue. I'm going to use the white. Okay. And then the second icon that I have on here is a Bitmoji that I'm going to select. It says, Hey gang. So I could just type, Hey gang. Here it is, I drag it here onto the slide. I resize it to make it fit. So here is the, the title of my poster. So I wanna go ahead and then put the other informations as far as the, the different aspects of the poster. So the first thing that I'm going to insert is another, it's an arrow. Um, which is the upper the up arrow call out So this will be Somewhat of the border for all the different informations. I'm gonna place on the poster So just again, you, you play around with this so it could fit the way that you would like 
the arrow to fit okay okay so this is about right so I wanna of course remove make the uh, make it transparent the fill in and then the border I want to make the bow on uh, border a dark um, dark blue to basically somewhat matches my um, the color so we're keeping the blue theme so and the next part is add, to add another call out so I use the rounded rectangular call out so this is where I will put my information so resize it now as you could see the call out is upside down this little part I want it to be on top so all I have to do is right click rotate it and flip it vertically so here it is rotate it and flip it vertically and then the next thing I'm going to take another shape now this time I'm gonna take a rectangle I'm gonna draw it on top line it up with the call out okay and the fill in that I want as you could see here the custom color that I took from the zoom logo so I'm gonna incorporate the same thing remove the border so which this with the call out here this border you could double click it the fill in I want to make it transparent the color I want to use the dark blue just like you know the other shape okay so now I have my shape I have a total of nine different boxes so I'm gonna go ahead and copy control C control V to paste this control V and it's all about placing it where I want them to be okay so since I'm going to have this tw um, two more time I just select all the three shapes and then again select them control C to copy control V to paste them there you go so now that I have um, I have my different shapes all my um, nine boxes so it's all about putting in the information so the first one is be on time You know, for consistency, of course, you could just basically make all of them size 20 if you need to. Okay, so that's up to you. Then, of course, the second part, uh, once you have your titles, the next part is inserting the Bitmojis. So go into my Bitmoji um, Chrome extension and I'm going to place my Bitmoji. The first one is high. Type in the word high here just drag it here resize it to make it fit okay the next one um, is, is weight it's the one in the chair so one thing that I did with this one, I have, since it has the words, I'll, um, the wording I'll wait. So I'm, all I did is just basically crop the wording. So that's what I want. Just place that. And then I have, uh, um, another PowerPoint that was shared from a group um 
on Facebook that has a different um, pictures and decor, classroom decor, icons, um, images that you can also incorporate in your um, presentation, posters, or whatever you want, uh, you want. So this is the desk that I use. So I'm going to select that desk, Control C to copy it, and then place it on my presentation. And then of course fix it to make sure that it's in front of the Bitmoji. Okay, the other picture that I had was um, a computer. So let's go here. This is the computer that I use. Control C here. Control V. This is the computer. Place the computer on the table or the desk. Again, you play around with it to make sure that it fits where you want it to be. And again, I like to group the images, select all of them, and then group them so I know whenever I make a change to one, it will reflect. I think this one. Okay. So another emoji that we um, is, can I help you? Is this one right here again so I will be doing the same thing with the other one I don't want the wording so I'm gonna crop it and I also want to flip it the other direction so to flip it right click and then you're gonna rotate and I want to rotate that horizontally so here so now it's facing the other direction okay this, this one place it wherever you want to place it Once you've added your Bitmojis, basically go in and insert your text. Okay, so now as you could see um, the zoom poster is basically done so it's the same information that I'm going to have in Google meet so all I did is basically I could um, right click or control C okay copy it go down here below the zoom control V to paste the other poster so now here instead of zoom I'm going to have Google meet expectation um, expectation so I change the font size and here I want to have the Google meet 
logo. Line it up. So again, I'm gonna use my color picker to make sure that the same color, the green that I have on the logo is the same green color that I have on everything else. So I'm gonna select this and then of course select my shape. I want to create a custom and I paste the color that I just selected from with my color picker. Click OK. As you can see here, the title color matches uh, um, the Google Meet logo. Um, so again, I'm going to change, of course, the background here. Okay, so as you could see now, I have my Zoom poster and my Google Meet posters. So that is all it takes for you to create the digital posters for Zoom as well as um, Google Meet. I hope this was very helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message and share the video. These posters you could share it with parents as well as your students or the teachers who are in need of this zoom expectation and digital poster so if you have any questions don't hesitate to um send me a message dm me i am um, on social media facebook instagram um twitter and as well as teachers pay teachers this is available for free on teachers pay teachers it is available for free on the different social media platforms so send me a message if you have any questions and good luck to you all